Mark, it's fascinating. Apple tends to do things a little after everybody else and perhaps maybe a little better or more stylishly. What will this effort look like? Yeah, it's interesting because when Steve Jobs unveiled the first iPad all the way back in 2010, that's eight years ago now, I can't believe it. One of the key features was this color screen that you could read books on, taking on the Amazon Kindle. And then in between, there were a few redesigns to the app. They have a version for the Apple TV now for kids, but it's sort of been forgotten about. But now this year, they've hired a new executive. He was a senior VP at Amazon for their Audible Books division. Before that, he led the Nook Initiative, an e-reader from Barnes & Noble. Now Apple's doing their new thing. It's a, it's a redesigned books app. It's just called Books instead of iBooks, probably to match you know, Apple Music. Now you'll have Apple Podcasts and now Apple Books. There'll be a new section called Reading Now, a redesigned store to match the design of the new App Store from iOS 11 last year, uh, as well as a few new tabs for audiobooks. So a new focus there, as Amazon and Google, for its part, both up their efforts in the ebook game. I used iBook when it first came out and then I switched to the Kindle just because of the ease of use. Will I and other people be compelled to switch back to books? Yeah, I think so. So starting a couple of years ago, Apple started pre-installing the iBooks app on iPhones and iPads that were bought new from Apple. So it's pretty much there in your face, whereas in the Kindle app, you have to go to the App Store and download it. And people like you, and there's many people who went to download the Kindle app specifically because of the way it synchronizes the Amazon system, but also because it's quite a bit better in terms of functionality, different reading modes, a focus on audiobooks. Now Apple is you know, stepping back and saying, hey, we want to play back in this game too and this app is quite a bit nicer in terms of its design and functionality. I think it will definitely get more people to use the app. And in the worst case, it shows the company's continued dedication to the platform so people know they can continue buying books from Apple, knowing those will be continuously supported into the future.